two and a half feet tall, one of the twin peaks of football achievement. Interestingly, Tony Kroos is the only World Cup winner in tonight's final so far. But Rob Green alongside me, 14 of the 22 players on view already have Champions League winners' medals in their collection. This is the all-star game. Absolutely, evening everyone, and it's, it's one with a game with history not so long ago. This repeat of the final, is there revenge in the air for Liverpool tonight? It's nine o'clock in Paris, a very good afternoon wherever you are watching. Welcome to the most prestigious game of club football played on the planet this year. The 2022 UEFA Champions League final played between two of the serial winners of this coveted prize. Liverpool in red, Real Madrid in white. And Thiago, who was a doubt, quickly involved, conceding the first free kick of this evening. There's one of a few doubts for the game, but seemingly both teams are at full strength. Both teams in a 4-3-3 that we're accustomed to seeing them. Be interesting to see. Liverpool seeing them already pressing this Real Madrid side. They thrive on the chaos of a game for Real Madrid. They thrive on the chaos of just a few moments within that game. A real sense of occasion tonight, a real atmosphere within the ground. There's an offside flag has been raised. Liverpool do have this reputation for being a pressing team, a side that look to harass and smother opponents from minute one. Real Madrid don't. They have surprises occasionally in this run by getting on the front foot from the off. They haven't chosen to be the kings of comeback. They've been forced into corners, which so far they've found a way out of. But they're being forced back from minute one here. It's interesting to see how they started Liverpool on the front foot. They like to be front runners, as you say, Clive. And but Real Madrid are past masters of staying in the game. I think even if Liverpool do go ahead within the game, which is conceivable that they will, maybe even from a set piece like this, that Real Madrid will fancy their chances still. Liverpool have been more effective than any other team in the Champions League from set pieces. They have height, they have aerial power, they have players who can hit their targets. Alexander Arnold hits the forehead of Karim Benzema on this occasion. Put back into a danger area, but fell on Mendy, can allow that to bounce through to Thibaut Courtois. It's Liverpool's 63rd game of their marathon season, each and every single one of them has counted for something. Real Madrid have not only been involved in seven fewer matches, their last four have been almost exhibition games. They clinched the Spanish title a full month back. They've been in preparation mode since the semi-final three weeks ago. Resting players, foot off the gas. Liverpool have been full on it. May work against them, it may work for them. Overcooked, undercooked, which would you prefer to be, Rob? Well, it's an interesting quandary, isn't it? And you'd have to say, from my perspective as a player, to be overcooked, you can get through on adrenaline in the last 20, 30 minutes of a game if you're in front, the European Cup final. You can hold on in there. There's a moment's panic in a game when you realise it's not going for you and you're behind and you're having to chase it. Whether that happens to Real Madrid, whether they get that chance or not, we're going to have to see. Alexander Arnold winning his first duel with Vinicius. Modric just trying to get Real Madrid started. Here is Vinicius Junior. Mohamed Salah and Jordan Henderson are helping out on that side. He's got a big role out there, Jordan Henderson, to get across, to get over, to help. Trent Alexander-Arnold or Kinate because Trent Alexander he will go forward he will attack he will leave themselves exposed and Real Madrid won't mind that yeah, a lot's been said and speculated about that contest and it's to, to watch how much they actually see of each other and the Liverpool right back takes up attacking positions like no other defender and the dilemma for Vinicius will be whether or not to follow him. Well, you can see at the top of the screen now, Clive, that Mendy's drifting forward, but Benzema's actually in behind Vinicius. And so there's a real pair there, there's a real trio even out there that work together. That's a massive option for Real Madrid. It's like they're going to try to work that Liverpool right. 
Real Madrid coming forward down the other flank with Fede Valverde. That was the big selection for Carlo Ancelotti. Kept Rodrigo back. Tony Kroos. Here is Felon Mendy. Now Vinicius. Benzema in that deep role. It's a wandering role, that's all you'll see him. Right up the spearhead of the attack for most of the evening. Kroos finding Carvajal. Militao finding Vinicius, and this is dangerous for Liverpool. Kroos to Benzema. Militao just overran that, and now there's space in behind him, but Robertson just couldn't quite free Luis Diaz. Militao recovered. See the difference in the two attacks there. Looking at Real Madrid, a little bit slow, a little bit more measured. He won't mind taking their time, allowing Benzema to get back into the middle of the pitch, into that spearheaded role that you talked about, Clive. Liverpool looked at the attack with the thrust and the gusto of the likes of Mo Salah and Mane and Diaz, and really look at them to go and plough furrows into the Real Madrid defence. Alexander Arnold finding Robertson as he so often does with that crossfield ball. Fabinho into Mane. Now Thiago. I have to report the Liverpool end of the stadium is now pretty much full. Mane. No foul. Casemiro to Benzema. Here's Valverde. And Thiago's interception has only fed Valverde again. Fabinho is there, though. So Vinicius at the top of the screen making a run. He was free. Canate just a moment's momentary lapse in concentration. Wasn't aware of where he was fully. Here's Alexander Arnold. And Vinicius is not going with him. Salah. Alexander Arnold again trying to play it back to Salah, but fell on Mendy came between them. Early for Vinicius this time. Canate looks up into the Paris night, but it's Alisson who takes evasive action. That's good work from Alexander Arnold. It's a final with a good early tempo. You see that Militao hit that long early ball. It's because Liverpool have got such a high defensive line up near the halfway line. Conversely, you look at this Real Madrid line, happy to sit back, happy to sit, hold back that line. Mane trying to get Luis Diaz in behind Carvajal, but they weren't quite on the same wavelength. So that although Real Madrid did drop off and hold, they are still, as Jamie Carragher was pointing out in the build-up, they're man-orientated. They will get spread across the pitch as a defensive line. They're open. The two coaches have been here, seen it, got the medals, both winners and losers. Jurgen Klopp's fourth Champions League final as a coach, a number bettered only by Carlo Ancelotti, number five on the sidelines tonight, plus a couple out in the middle as a Milan player. Alexander Arnold. Salah. Henderson trying to get it back to Alexander Arnold, but Vinicius had taken up a more defensive position. It's almost a battle of wheels down the flanks. A battle of nerve, isn't it? Mm. Saying, I will go. You have to chase me. You have to trust your teammates if you've been told not to track. Henderson, Salah. Alexander Arnold to Mohamed Salah. Mane in behind here. Cut back dangerously. 
Casemiro did enough, but Salah is there. Flag is up. I guess the ball must have gone out of play. It was, in the end, a rather perilous piece of defending. Casemiro's got such an important role. See it going out for a goal kick, clearly, but just sitting in front of that the defensive line for Real Madrid, he will drop into that line at times. We've seen over the previous tie, ties where he feels like it's necessary. He'll drop in and help them out. They'll need it. Thiago. Not even Luis Diaz will catch that. But it's not been a cagey start by any means. There has been a, a chaotic wonder about Real Madrid's matches in the Champions League this year. And Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool can do chaos too. Their fevered intensity tends to create crazy games. I wonder which team would it suit if, if this game began to run out of control. Maybe needs the catalyst of an early goal. Karim Benzema, halted by Alexander-Arnold. I just feel that if it has got that chaotic energy from the start, the legs within this Liverpool side will have the edge, but then... As the game drags on, we've seen the likes of Camavinga come off the bench for Real Madrid. And as super subs go, he's an incredible addition to bring on because he brings such life in the midfield. So he's got angles on the pitch, nuances on the pitch, but also off the pitch in the benches on the bench as well. Thiago finding Salah. Maybe finding him too. Henderson looking for Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz against Danny Carvajal will be another game within the game. Mane's return pass is a little heavy and has gone for a goal kick. He will fancy himself tonight against Carvajal. It's been such a wonderful addition for the Liverpool side and another option. Carvajal out there. A little bit exposed out there if he gets dragged all the way out for the touchline. It's interesting that Diaz has started very, very wide. Fabinho to Salah. Thiago to Fabinho. Some disquiet about the new pitch that was laid in midweek, but it seems to be rolling pretty true so far. Salah and Mane combining. Fabinho to Alexander Arnold. Driven towards Luis Diaz. Tiago, Luis Diaz, Andy Robertson deflected, and it was awkward, but Mendy and Courtois sorted it out. It's just a momentary hesitation from Courtois when it gets that deflection. It's so difficult to judge where the ball's going to bounce, which player's going to get there first, but cool as you like from Mendy. Cool heads in hot areas. Carvajal losing the ball. Luis Diaz. Mohamed Salah at the stretch couldn't reel it in. And now Vinicius has escaped in behind Alexander Arnold. Canate with a very well timed challenge. That's really good, strong defending from Ibrahim Canate. Salah. Canate is the only true Parisian in the final. Fernand Mendy is from the region and was with PSG as a youth player, but Canate was born and brought up in one of the French capitals in the suburbs on the right bank. 
This is a homecoming for him. And that, in a nutshell, is why he's been picked in front of Matip. Because Trent Alexander-Arnold will get higher up the pitch. He is more athletic, defensively better-minded in 1v1s than Matip. And he's also never lost as a Liverpool player. Not a bad omen. What a record to have. Never on the losing side in 28 Liverpool appearances. Ibrahim Akanata. It's a little loose from Mane. Liverpool the more assertive in these opening 15 minutes. Thiago seeking out Henderson. Alexander Arnold. Cross is dangerous. Salad. Smart save there. Courtois had to get down quickly. There was an element of surprise about Salah's strike. Henderson. Salah again. Mane let it run. Luis Diaz blocked by Carvajal. Robertson. Thiago, first persistent pressure of the night, and it comes from Liverpool. Of course, it's the best save of the night so far from Thibaut Courtois. Not that one, the one before. No, that was the comfortable one. That was the one that relieved the pressure. Here's the smart save. Just a little bit of pace taken off it by being behind him. But to stop, to be set, to be ready for that strike. He's been a big, big player for this Real Madrid side. I get the feeling he might need a few more of them tonight. Faced Liverpool ten times, I mean, on the losing side just once. And he was outstanding against them in the quarterfinals of this competition last season, Thibaut Courtois. Luis Diaz taking Carvajal for a run. Robertson fed into Mane, able to turn, back to Salah! It was straight at Courtois, but it was sharp and it was smart from Liverpool. And they're starting to get through. And they're starting to crank up the pressure now, and the Real Madrid back line is dropping that little bit deeper, and midfield is having to drop as well. That allows that control and the time to pick the passes when they go into the penalty area. That's why they're getting the shots away. Luka Modric, the uh, Real Madrid midfield trio, really haven't been a big factor in the game as yet. Casemiro trying to change that with a very adroit pass for Valverde. Early in, Alexander Arnold with the cover. Vinicius have gone down the centre. Now Robertson can counter. Salah. Hasn't been quite as unplayable in recent weeks as he was at the start of the year the bar that he set so high maybe hasn't been reaching quite as often but he's been involved in the early skirmishes in the final Henderson looking for Mane this time first touch was good so was the cover Salah Alexander-Arnold, Henderson, Mane, Salah, back to Alexander-Arnold! He's capable of far, far better than that. Well, it was a wayward shot in the end, but it was controlled by Liverpool, and Real Madrid really just need to get to grips with Thiago in that centre midfield. He's a doubt before the game, but they're not getting the pressure on him and he's starting to pick his passes pick his moments a couple to Jordan Henderson who's gone wide and from there Liverpool really enjoying themselves in their, their attacks and the pressure that they're creating you know Modric Casemiro Kroos they have nearly 100 years on the planet between them over 1100 games for Real Madrid 10 of those in Champions League finals before tonight they've won three finals together as a trio trio first brought together by Carlo Ancelotti in 2014 but strangely 
None of them were on the field for Real Madrid's astonishing comeback in the semi-final. All three have been substituted with 15 minutes of normal time to play. And when that Ancelotti has had to freshen up his midfield because of their advancing years, Real Madrid have been different, maybe even better. Yes, they've had legs, and it's not often you come up with players' stats that make me feel young, but that's one of them. <laughs> Fabinho, Thiago. Robertson to Thiago, threaded through to Mane. He's found some space, and he's found the post via the hand of Courtois. It was a really good save by the Real Madrid keeper. Just managed to divert it onto the goalpost. Sadio Mane is so close. It's a fantastic save, a fantastic touch. You just watch that Courtois is set, he's ready, he's waited. As soon as Mane comes onto his right foot, you're thinking, as a goalkeeper, he's going to go to your far side, going to go in the far post. Courtois' left-hand side. No, he stands and waits. Alisson off-limits there. Canate dealt with that long ball, seeking out Vinicius again. But it's all Liverpool. Mane. Slight challenge by Casemiro was fair. That wasn't from Thiago. Sadio who scored against Real Madrid in the 2018 final and hit the post later in the game, an incident that's often forgotten amidst the Gareth Bale dramatics. And he's struck an upright tonight. Tiba Cortos celebrated the save like a goal, and rightly so, because 20 minutes into the game, starting to really turn the screw here, Liverpool, really get on top, and... He senses, I just need to turn this around, need to stem the flow, get hold of the ball, just gesticulating with his teammates, telling them just to calm it. It's his first Champions League final for Real Madrid. He played against them for Atletico as a 22-year-old back in 2014. Beaten by a 93rd minute equaliser and then beaten three more times in extra time. Luis Diaz just couldn't quite force it into the path of Mane that time. Kroos. <laughs> There's no conventional challenge by Mane. French referee saw nothing on toward. Midpoint in the first half. It's goalless. But Liverpool are looking the team more likely. in the sense that Real Madrid, that first ball forwards from this back line, from Militao, if they can then get on the half turn, and Mendy can turn out here to go forwards, it just gives Liverpool something to think about, something to make them step back, buys Real Madrid a little bit of time, eases the pressure. Mendy. Gross. Carver Hall have made a run on the near side. David Alaba. So 32 days since he was substituted at half time at Manchester City in the semi final. Alaba, this is the first football that he's played since then. A nursing injury. two fitness question marks over one or two players coming into the game but maybe the biggest one over Alaba Salah cut out by Alaba Thiago almost intercepted Casemiro Kroos Benzema Seeking out Carvajal, Modric, Benzema have made a good run there. I think Modric and Kroos are just finding their way into the game. They've 
really turned down the opportunity of that kind of longer searching pass. Vinicius. Mendy. Vinicius in towards Benzema. And it's too close to Alisson. Finally judged by Alisson. A little bit square onto it. Realised the back pedal was needed. Oh, Real Madrid won't mind that, just having that period of time with the ball. Just to get themselves out up the pitch and into Liverpool half for a, ch for a bit. Diaz. Carvajal's done well against him so far. The Madrid get the throw in. And it was going to be an interesting battle all night. This Robertson plays more of a supporting role for Luis Diaz. It's not the combinations on the other side, so it's a man against man proposition there for Carvajal. Risen to the challenge so far. Loose though from Carvajal. Alexander Arnold, Salah, Henderson, away by Mendy, only as far as Canate. Alexander Arnold instantly on to Salah, couldn't quite connect. Alaba saw to that. There, Modric on the ball now, and Kroos is next, and both of them so deep. Looking for Carvajal. Robertson dealt with it after a fashion, but Carvajal has the ball in enemy territory. Carvajal had stayed forward, but Kroos couldn't find him. Both players have such experience, they're recognising the fact that they need to gain control in this game. Forgo a bit of that for attacking intent just to get the foot on the ball. Casemiro seeking out Vinicius. A little bit of the go to ball for Real Madrid's midfield, particularly when Vinicius has some space as he had then. Expected if it's a hopeful effort, he felt it was deflected off uh, his fellow countryman Casemiro. Probably was, I think. Maybe just the slightest of touches, but Real Madrid from there. If you're saying we're still in the game, half an hour, 28 minutes into the game, and Fabinho is taking strikes from 30 yards, 35 yards, you'll take that. They don't have to play well this Real Madrid side, they just need to stay in the game. Valverde. Canate had to get his head to that. Salah. Isolated with Mendy here. Mane. Salah makes that cutting burst infield, then almost lends the ball to a teammate to set up a shooting chance. Didn't quite come off there. Good ball from Thiago. Henderson, mm, typical instant cross from him, but misguided. There is an irresistible force about these two clubs in this competition. Uh, an aura, a reputation that goes before them. We've seen it in Real Madrid's incredible journey to Paris, so many comebacks. You almost 
come to expect them to pull them off. Their opponents come to fear them. They've, they have won each of their last nine European finals, all seven of their Champions League finals. And in the modern era, the last team to overcome them in the final of this competition, Liverpool in Paris, 1981. Vinicius, oh, and Alexander Arnold only just caught up with him. I think Vinicius was borderline offside. It was tight, but it was a clever bit of play from Real Madrid. It was that first ball forward. He got control of it, the layoff. Vinicius was away. Salah. Bumped off the ball by Kroos. But there's a little game of poker going on on the far side of the field between Alexander-Arnold and Vinicius. Bit of bluff and bidding and counter-bluff. Ironically, the game's going on away from them and it's the ball forwards into Benzema is the key ball. If he gets hold of it and bounces it off, then he's away, Vinicius. That's what they're waiting for, just that moment. Half an hour of a fascinating Champions League final. actually in Paris for that final in 1981 and we had to wait for minute 81 for the only goal that night one goal has been sufficient to settle the last two finals Casemiro giving it away to Mane Salah Mendy caught up with him here's Benzema Vinicius makes the run in behind. Van Dijk sees it all the way. It's fortunate there for Real Madrid that they lost the ball and the initial reaction from the team was to drop and then immediately winning back. The two of them were detached from the rest of the side. There wasn't another option. Militao coming out to engage Mane, no foul. Robertson's header. Thiago just got a touch to it. Then Luis Diaz on to Mana. Gross is there. Referee tried to allow an advantage, but he's brought it back for a Liverpool free kick. A little nudge from Carvajal, but you're looking at long periods of inactivity from Real Madrid, and it feels like the game's drifting and not going anywhere, but it actually suits them. It actually. They're biding their time, they're waiting for their moment, their moment of chaos. When can we cause our damage? Little niggles like that by Carvajal, those little fouls, they slow the game down, that suits Real Madrid. coming looking for the ball Canate he's broken two challenges there Alexander Arnold headers by Salah and it's straight at Courtois but it was another sight of the Real Madrid goal this Militao has left him just not reacted it's not in the space where Militao thinks he's going to read it in between him and Courtois it's not Salah's strongest point of his game it's a strike on target. He scored in two of his last 15 Liverpool games, which by his standards is a drought. 
since coming back from the African Cup of Nations, you wondered whether there'd be a drop-off. Looking at the attempts on target, there's no real argument who's then been on top in the game. And Mohamed Salah has had a number of those attempts. Here's Van Dijk. Still won one of the two big Footballer of the Year awards in England. Mohamed Salah. Lasted just 30 minutes of his first final. That uh, infamous altercation with Sergio Ramos. Scored in the second minute of his second. Valverde. Again, Vinicius is the target. Benzema. Vinicius. He knocked that between the legs of Canate and it needed Henderson to come and cover. Well, he's cursing. That was a little moment, a little glimpse to get that toe in. Benzema. Thiago's uh, header managed to break up the attack. Bounce Carney for Allison, and that's fantastic. Pass from the Liverpool goalkeeper. Now, was he held up there by Carvajal? Indeed, he was. That was a tactical foul by the Real Madrid right back, and he's trying the referee's patience here. He knew what, exactly what he was doing, Carvajal. All going nowhere. It was a great ball from Allison. Just didn't have the pace. Diaz had to slow his run down. And allowed him to get back. I think that should have been a yellow card. Absolutely, it wasn't. Robertson has both Canate and Van Dijk to aim for, instead goes square to Robertson. To uh, Henderson, I should say. Now the high ball in, and it's Robertson who's on the end of it. Luis Diaz. It didn't quite work out for Liverpool. Seemed to be a clear nudge in the back of Luis Diaz by Eder Militao. Not penalised. He's never winning the header, never getting there, always going through. And Militao never wants to turn away an opportunity like that. He was a real soldier in the semi final. He strained every sinew of his body, leg massages from his teammates during stoppages. He went off and came back on, almost got to the end of extra time. Canate hasn't dealt with that, Vinicius. Benzema runs into Alexander Arnold, but it comes back for Vinicius Jr. Karim Benzema. Tony Kroos. Danny Carvajal. A bit hot as it came to Valverde and he couldn't control it and Luis Diaz can escape. Being chased by Carvajal. And he won the race fairly. He's had the bit between his teeth in this first half, Carvajal. We wonder how that battle was going to ensue and he's had the better of it. Yeah, he's had his injury issues the last couple of years. But um, been back in form the last couple of months, back in the Spain squad. Certainly, there's a lot of energy about him in the semi final. It's from his cross that Rodrigo headed the second goal. He's got his hands full tonight with Luis Diaz, but he's leading the challenge well. Gets it back from Henderson. Mohamed Salah.
to Thiago. Robertson. Fed into Mane. Corner kick given. Big tackle. Just went tight. Realised. Really tell that he's going to have to recover and recover quick because Mane got that half a yard on him. He scored in his last three Champions League starts, Sadio Mane, quarter-final, semi-final, top goals. Has played mainly at the number nine, the centre-forward role since returning from winning the African Cup of Nations with Senegal. Taken by Robertson, headed away by Benzema. Struck by Henderson, very well struck, but not accurately struck. Oh, of course, I was beaten. Fair way off target. He wasn't to know that initially. Just from the strike alone, the reaction from Courtois. Wasn't sure where it was going. Sigh of relief when it went wide. The delayed 2022 Champions League final just joining us and wondering why we are still four minutes shy of half time the kickoff was delayed in order to try to deal with the admission of fans on one end of the ground it does feel as if the stadium is full and full of noise now Vinicius has won a free kick here Can't get that tight. Ties one again. High up the pitch from Kionate. Not that tight. Karen Benzema was saying this week he feels for this is one of the top five players in the world now. Nobody's provided more assists in the uh, Champions League. It's only 18 months ago since Benzema was caught on camera whispering to a teammate at half time. Don't give the ball to Vinicius. I'm not sure he's on our team. <laughs> well, I think it says more about Vinicius's improvement than anything. We've all had that said about <laughs> us, guys. Here is Vinicius Junior. Alaba. Benzema has found some space here. Karim Benzema. Oh, and Alisson held him up. It might still come. Plaxa woke out, came from an offside position. Liverpool will breathe a mighty sigh of relief because they afforded him one chance, dealt with it, and then presented it back to him. Well, he was only needed one chance in all the build up to the game. Let's talk of the, the way that he takes his chances. I wonder if the flag was for the initial burst forward. It is going to be checked, inevitably. It has to be checked. I think this will stand. I don't think there's any problem once it comes back to him, really. No, nope. it's not the Liverpool player. So it's that first pass alone. Well, he's been rivalling Ronaldo numbers this season. 44 goals and counting. Now... He's, there's only one defender behind him because the goalkeeper is so far forward but does it come off Valverde or does it come off a Liverpool player has to be an intentional touch by a Liverpool player rather than just an innocent deflection and that is the call now for the VAR Jerome Brissa and everybody in this stadium waits on his verdict the jury is quite literally out here it's obviously close or we would have had a decision before now well for me that touch onto the Liverpool player stops it a shot on target and so it is something that you're feeling I feel will stand and it has to stand because without that touch, 
from Kinate and Fabinho. It is a tackle. It's an intentional play of the ball. It's how it gets back to him there that is the key to this. There's no doubt that he was coming from what is termed an offside position. This isn't relevant in a sense. It's now he's behind the goalkeeper with only one defender between him and the goal. But how does it get back to him? It comes off Fabinho's knee. I think it's going to be played on here. We, ha we do have a, a FIFA referee, Christina Unger, to give her view of this while we await the VAR's decision. How do you see it, Christina? Yes, the determination we're making is whether or not Fabinho deliberately played the ball. Uh, it appears that Benzema was in an offside position, however, if the infraction has occurred or not. Based on that behind-the-camera angle of Fabinho going in and committing and playing that ball, that's where they're looking at, and I do think that if they determine it as a deliberate play, the goal will stand. That is the conundrum for the VAR. There is a lot resting on the shoulders of Monsieur Brissard right now. No goal. No goal. It has to be a deliberate touch by the defender, not just a, a deflection or a diversion. And I guess the verdict is that as Fabinho went in to challenge there, it came off his knee inadvertently. What a mistake here by Alisson. And Liverpool, who've been the better team for much of the half, are finishing it very nervously. And they're at sixes and sevens at the moment, and this is the chaos that Real Madrid have been waiting for. But that's the wrong call for me. Fabinho's gone in to make the tackle. He's clearly trying to play the ball, so therefore he's playing the ball to Benzema, and he's not in an he's not offside, even though he is on an offside position. So it's a big call. It was Alisson who rather got in the way of Canate's initial attempt to clear the ball. There's a misunderstanding between those two, which allowed Benzema a second chance, which he took. We don't have access to the same camera angles as the VAR does have. I wonder in the back of my mind about the initial run by Benzema. And that was uh, a tight call too, but... By the way, the score is nil-nil. Here is Karim Benzema, still 44, sorry. Almost got Vinicius away there. Liverpool have just lost a little bit of order here in these last couple of minutes. They need the half-time whistle. And this was what we considered to be the game, was that Real Madrid would stay in the game and would wait for that one opportunity that they get. And there in the first half, you've seen all the chances and the pressure that Liverpool have had. Real Madrid holding and waiting and then pouncing. No foul by Alexander-Arnold. That was a big call too, that was terrible from Thiago. Fired in by Kroos, cut out by Canate. And that's almost the sound of the bell for the end of a round which Liverpool were losing. They've been on top for most of the half. Strangely, they'll have faced opponents from only three nations in their 13 Champions League fixtures this season. Game number 13 for both teams is the ultimate game, the final of the Champions League. Liverpool have just kept finding ways to win this season, different ways, amazing ways. If they do lift the cup here tonight, it will be the 50th time they've prevailed in a game this season. Real Madrid have been beaten three times in this competition this year alone. Liverpool have been beaten three times all season in 62 games. That's the matchup. And there's nothing to separate them at halfway. Valverde and Benzema are unable to get past Fabinho, and Van Dijk tidies up. It was an absorbing first half, as we expected. Liverpool and Real Madrid are matching up in formations, and really Liverpool dominating. Real Madrid just waiting for that chance, waiting for that moment. Say they really did get away with one at the end of the first half, and you just wonder as this second half progresses 
The longer it stays nil-nil, how much Real Madrid will fancy it more and more to say, well, this is how we thought the game would go, this is how it's going to plan for us. And if his goal had stood and it was disallowed almost on a technicality, they would have pulled it off again. Alexander-Arnold forward to Mohamed Salah. Good challenge by Alaba. Alexander Arnold, Luis Diaz was there, but so too was Danny Carvajal, who did exceptionally well. Really good defending. And that was a miracle recovery because he was goal side, Diaz. He was there waiting. Whether he got a touch or did just enough to put him off. It was enough to stop a goal, and that's a big moment in the second half already. Vinicius. Benzema. Put up by Canata, crucially. Thiago. We talked a lot about Mohamed Salah being injured in the final of 2018 between these two sides. Danny Carvajal had to go off before half time in that game, too. Terrible disappointment for him. His fourth final in Real Madrid colours. That was, this is number five. A really, really important piece of defending. Casemiro. Switch to Carvajal, but Luis Diaz is back there with him. A good tempo and intensity about the match. And you know, as you're saying in the first half, that Real Madrid at times almost taking a breather on the ball to relieve the pressure on themselves. Just feel that Benzema when he does get up wide and high with Vinicius, They're just probing, waiting for their moment, waiting for that opportunity. Luis Diaz. Driven towards Mohamed Salah, who's going to do well to pluck it out of the air, but he's caught up with it. Salah looking for Mane, good work by Casemiro, strong work by Mane, no foul. Luis Diaz, met by Militao. Now Casemiro looking to counter. Alexander Arnold just levers him to the ground, and the free kick is given. Referee hasn't shown a yellow card yet. It looks like he's just going to have a word. Carvajal got in away. There's something not dissimilar in the first half. Opposition right back in a similar position now, but it's two good bits of play from Casemiro to read that ball into Mane initially and then make that run. Trent Alexander Arnold, his third Champions League final at the age of 23. Alex Del Piero actually reached that mark a few weeks earlier, back in 1998, but talk about growing up quickly. Not bad company. So I think what I was doing at 23, up to no good probably. Vinicius, Casemiro. Fabinho getting to Casemiro. Alaba. Take. Mane. Close just managed to reach around him. Were those concerns expressed about the decision to lay a brand new playing service here on Tuesday and Wednesday was out of necessity. Stade de France hosted a rock concert a week ago, but it uh, seems to have played pretty well the surface so far. It's only had well less than three days really to knit in the 500 rolls of Spanish turf that were imported for the game. The new pitches are, are difficult to play on. Those rolls you talk about dry up quick when they don't knit. All of a sudden you find little ridges and ri 
little rolls of the ball around the pitch, troughs to play in, and it makes it difficult and hard to read. Fabinho, Luis Diaz. Thiago. Salah. Vinicius has come back to help out Mendy. Salah early with the cross. And Courtois in control. Plenty of intent about the two teams. Casemiro stretching the legs of Valverde. Benzema to Carvajal, quick to his feet. Thiago managed to win it back. It's high quality. It's a high intensity now. See how long it lasts. Both teams playing a lot of games this season. With not many options to change it over the course of the season. A lot of these players have played a lot of minutes in every game so far. We see how long the intensity lasts, but high five football. <laughs> Casemiro run off it by Mane. That's really good control with the spinning ball from Ibrahima Kanate. Van Dijk. Picking up Mane, allowing him to turn. Here's Luis Diaz, and it's Modric that's chasing him this time. Luis Diaz back to Sadio Mane, blocked by Militao. Alexander Arnold blocked by Casemiro. Stout defending by Real Madrid. Two teams now attacking the ends of the stadium where they're vocal support is gathered Tiago Alexander Arnold Henderson Alexander Arnold Thiago is there. It's Modric's header away, turned back in by Robertson. And Mendy can allow it to bounce away. It's Thiago is attacking the near post. It's a wonderful ball in. Judgment from Courtois. So difficult when you see that body going across the front of you to make that decision to go. Just get the feeling. These two teams are like. Two different types of boxers. Liverpool being a big, being a lightweight boxer, loads of punches, loads of attacks, loads of forays. Real Madrid, that big, one big moment, that big heavyweight waiting to land the killer blow. Luis Diaz, I think um, Militao was caught in the uh, in the face there, inadvertently by the swinging boot. Off camera, Danny Carvajal's getting a bit excited with Thiago Alcantara. The uh, referees are under strict advice to halt play for any kind of head injury, however accidental. It was deemed a head injury from the start, so immediately the game stops. It's on the, the fall more than anything else. Like the best Barolo or Chianti Classico, he seems to get better with age. Class is permanent. He was away from Real Madrid for six years. With Bayern Munich, Napoli, Everton on Merseyside, Liverpool's big local rivals. But Carlo Ancelotti returned last summer and has already delivered another national title. And now participation in his fifth Champions League final. It's eight years since. He won it with Real and 
Ronaldo and Ramos and Casillas. 62 years of age, Carlo Ancelotti setting new records and standards. Even now. It's incredible to think he's taken some criticism this season over the start of play of Real Madrid. <laughs> Trophies speak for themselves and records speak for themselves. Offside. Henderson has good control, just couldn't quite free Mane. Fabinho. Mane. He has led the line so well for Liverpool. Henderson. Salah. Alexander Arnold. Salah! get hold of the first volley, then the second, then the handball appeals. Did travel a distance. He rather scuffed the first attempt, but he met the second one more sweetly, and you can see it did strike the arm of Allah, but it was tucked into his body. More in hope than expectation from Salah. Again, passes in and around the Real Madrid defence. A little bit tighter, that little bit crisper for Liverpool. Casemiro's made three or four important interceptions in this second half already. I'm just wondering how many times he can keep doing that. Here is Casemiro to Modric. Carvajal. <laughs> A terrific pass there to Casemiro, and now Valverde has some space. And Casemiro at Carvajal at his shoulder. Hit into a finish, yes! Real Madrid take the lead! Vinicius, the rising star of Real Madrid, flying at the moment. You cannot catch him. Scoring goals for fun. Who needs Mbappe? They've got Vinicius Junior. And they've got the lead in the final. Half of this stadium erupts in pandemonium behind the goal. And it's that pass. Comes Carvajal that opens up the Liverpool defence. Gives Valverde the option. He's going for goal. It turns out to be a fantastic ball. Drilled hard and low. Just on side. Timed it to perfection from Vinicius. They soaked up this pressure in the second half, much light in the first, and then pounced. Huge goal from one of the rising stars in this team. Well, the stats will tell you that that is Real Madrid's first shot on target. I think Karim Benzema would tell you otherwise, <laughs> having had a goal disallowed just before half-time. But it's something he's really added to his game this season. Goal power. He raced away to score a memorable goal against Manchester City in the semi final. He scored his first Real Madrid hat trick this month. Scored his first goal for Brazil this year. His career is on the up and up. And goal number 22 of the shooting stars in uh, this Real Madrid season. Vinicius Junior growing up before our eyes. Back on the ball. The beauty for Real Madrid now is the game plan doesn't change. They can just bide their time, stay in the game and wait. Wait for their opportunities again, much like they did then. The anxiousness, the nervousness, it's all on Liverpool now. Can they find a way? Well, the, the team that scored first has won the last six finals, but Liverpool have now conceded the first goal in six of their last seven games, they, and they didn't concede at all in the other one, and they haven't lost any of the others. They've actually prevailed in five of the, of the six. And during the last month of their incredible season, they spent two hours out there chasing games and still found a way. 
Jurgen Klopp's mentality monsters are being tested again. It's usually Real Madrid who are behind. It changes the game so much in terms of mentality on the pitch. Just wonder when you saw Real Madrid go in front against Manchester City, how they just sat in and just defended. And that was more out of any form of. First yellow card of the final for Fabinho. It's the first yellow card and first bit of frustration. In the game. Not the hardest decision for referee Turpan to make tonight, late and dangerous. And it suits Real Madrid. Just take this sting out of the game, slow it down. Last team to come from behind. And win a final, Carlo Ancelotti's Real Madrid, who equalised in the 93rd minute of the 2014 final against Atletico in Lisbon. Sergio Ramos forced extra time and Real ran out 4-1 winners. Mane, seized upon by Kroos. Valverde, who will claim the assist, although, as you suggest, Rob, it was probably a cross shot. Head down and hit it and hope. Sometimes it works. And both teams have very strong substitute benches. All kinds of wild cards available. Vinicius scored a couple against Liverpool in the quarter-final last season. His potential's never been a secret. This season you know you're going to get goals from him. Salah looking for an equaliser. Finding the hands of Courtois again. It was a good save as opposed to the great save that he made before half-time. That was the side he's expecting Salah to go. You can see that. Batting it away, he's in control, he's not at full stretch, which is saying something because he was going in the far post. Diogo Jota is stripped off and ready to be the first substitute of the final. Fabinho. Salah. Just lost his footing, but he was caught by Vinicius. Free kick is in a very menacing position for Liverpool. Uh, it's unfortunate for Vinicius. As you say, Clive, he did lose his footing. Just that little clip of the ankle. The foot was enough. Well, Luis Diaz has made an extraordinary impact in the four months that he spent at Liverpool Football Club. The first Colombian to play in the Champions League final. Only his 18th start for the club, but he hasn't made an impact tonight. And so Diogo Jota, 21 goals to his name this season, comes off the bench. And no great surprise, really. As soon as we saw that Jota was stripped, Diaz was the person coming off. It would be interesting when the game settles down to see whether he plays down the centre now or Sadio Mane switches. This here now is an opportunity for Liverpool. I'm wondering how they're going to get into the game. Real Madrid suffer from set pieces, from crosses. No team has scored more goals in the Champions League from set pieces than Liverpool this season. Robertson, in Schotter almost with his first touch. Valverde behind him. Henderson kept alive by Thiago. Sadio Mane is onside. So his centre backs for forward, really good header by Eder Militao. Canate still in there, it came off Militao, that's not quite what he meant. Just watch it, Courtois there, the extension, the power that he gets from his knee, his ankle, and his hip. 
allow him to get into the air so quickly, so far. Allows him to control the save, parry it away. He turned 30 a couple of weeks ago, which is no age for a goalkeeper. Vinicius, outnumbered. Mane. Henderson. Salah. Uh, he tracked Tony close back. Close right across him. You see these tricks. He's a little use of the body. He pills off the fouls, you saw it. Against Chelsea, against PSG, against Man City. Once they do go in the lead, every trick in the book. And there's a bit of street wisdom out there in Real Madrid White. Not to mention the senior statesman of Champions League football in charge of them. Only Sralik Ferguson and Arsene Wenger have presided over more games in this competition as a coach than Carlo Ancelotti. Been round the block a million times. Militao looking for a free kick, corner given. Referee didn't buy that one. Jota's won the corner. Midpoint in the second half. Just seen from the corner so far from Liverpool, Benzema in the near post space. You see him drifting in there, number nine. He's won the first header. Just need the quality of the ball to be better. Robertson. Header away by Carvajal. Thiago has done well. Robertson to Jota. On the corner. the risk of repeating myself, the delivery's just got to be better from Liverpool. And he's got to clear Carvajal first. It's Robertson. Canate is there. Kept alive by Fabinho. And it's just laying claim to it. Henderson's there. Salah, lovely control. Henderson, Jota beyond the far post, and here comes Salah! And somehow an improvised save by Courtois keeps it out. He's been outstanding, the Real Madrid keeper. Well, they've had him to, to thank so many times tonight. There's another occasion. We talked about the technique. There, it's just the size of him. Just make yourself big. Valverde. Canate deals with it. Game quite stretched. Thiago. Alexander Arnold to Salah. Mane. Salah. Tucked away by Alaba. Carvajal racing away. Benzema. Valverde trying to get Carvajal on his way. Liverpool pressure grows. Alexander Arnold. Well, that's not his usual standard. Well, he, he feels there's nothing wrong with the cross. This is another save from Timu Quartaran. Sometimes just getting hit by the ball is a wonderful option as a goalkeeper. May not have been going in, but Mane. Far side was waiting, ready to pounce. It's his fourth season with Real Madrid, it's his best season with Real Madrid. He is the goalkeeper with the number one ranked team in international football in a World Cup year, Thibaut Courtois. All kinds of opportunities for him in the coming months, but in the coming minutes, he's got a lead to protect. Faced his own criticisms in the time at Real Madrid, and you really feel that he's grown into the role since leaving Chelsea. And you have to give him credit to be able to come back from those criticisms, and it was severe against him. Modric to Vinicius. Challenged by Canati is outstanding. Henderson. Thiago. Mm. 
Mane. Casemiro responds. It was a good final before the goal was scored, but it's gone up a notch, notch now as a spectacle. That's on a knife edge. Two brilliant bits of defending. One from Canate and another from Casemiro. He's been fantastic in the second half. Jota trying to ride the challenge from Militao, did just about enough. Benzema, bubbled over by Van Dijk, free kick. He said to Ancelotti before the game, your two best players are going to be the goalkeeper and Casemiro. I think he'd take that because he knows that that's the game plan, that's where they need their big players to turn up, and they've done that. crazy thing is, you know, we're, we're just over 15 minutes to play, Real Madrid have been behind, here's Vinicius and Ken, by the way, they've been behind with 15 minutes of normal time to go in each of the three knockout rounds. <laughs> this is almost like unknown territory that they're approaching here. Behind on aggregate, that is, of course, in the uh, the three previous rounds. We saw extra time through against Manchester City, but Manchester City had taken off all their attacking players and really ran out of options of what to do. Liverpool need a goal to force extra time. Alexander Arnold. Mendy with a sliding challenge. The rivalry continues between Alexander Arnold and Vinicius. The Liverpool player didn't like the challenge, didn't like the ferocity of it. Mane. Henderson. Mane's gone on here. Ooh, he might even have gone down there. Really good header by Casemiro, kept alive by Fabinho, away by Carvajal. Thiago fighting Robertson, Jota has turned, ball bounced off his arm but Jota's gone on, halted by Casemiro again, Thiago, Henderson, Alexander-Arnold, trying to drive it into Salah, only away as far as Henderson, Mane, Alexander-Arnold, driven in and Jota! Tried to direct it goalwards. It was a shot again, rather similar to the Real Madrid goal, but not the connection that Jota needed. So that was slightly out of control. That element Jota couldn't get to. As Vinicius could, it was probably actually, ironically, a better strike shot from Alexander Arnold. It doesn't allow the strike to get that contact. Here comes Naby Keita. He looked for a spell before the game, as if he was going to start the game. You were wondering how long Thiago Silva would last in this final. He might be about to find out. <laughs> Carlo Ancelotti reluctant to refresh so far. We are now into that area with 75 to down on the clock and 15 to go. Mane penalised. Roberto Firmino is also stripped off and ready to come on for Liverpool. Interesting to see exactly what Jurgen Klopp does here because his team have the initiative, they actually are threatening to score can be a danger sometimes of changing too much even at such a late stage absolutely and you when you do score you've got the option of how, how you've changed it and you leave, you leave yourself too exposed to trust your team Tony Kroos this is Casemiro in the late run but he couldn't direct it to a teammate it was a real opportunity Really poor contact from Casemiro. Benzema. Vinicius is offside. This is 
Militao and Fabinho had a meeting there in midfield. And there was no free kick necessary. So Jordan Henderson's going to give the captain's armband to Virgil van Dijk and come off. Naby Keita will replace him. And the other change is Thiago Alcantara. So a change of shape as well as personnel for Liverpool. Roberto Firmino will take his place. Firmino's... He's 30 now, he's not really had a run in the team since February, he's had one or two injuries, there's a year on his contract, there's speculation about his future, hasn't played for Brazil since the uh, Copa final last year, but he started the finals of 2018 and 19, and he is different, he's unique. Liverpool don't have another player quite like him. Oh, he'll come and get the ball, playing at the minute, just in behind. Mane up front, they'll chop and change, they'll switch. Cater's in midfield, almost a 4-2-4. Yeah, it's sort of like a 4-2-3-1, really, isn't it? 4 yeah, with Firmino just off Mane. Salah and Jota wide. Firmino quickly involved. Here is Mane. Here is Cater. Firmino. It was a well-timed challenge by Alaba, but now he's lost it to Cater, and here's Mane. And Alexander-Arnold driven in, but cut out somehow by Militao in the nick of time. Vinicius play one twos of opponents now. No foul by Fabinho. Yeah. Referee tells Vinicius to get to his feet. Now yeah, that's a booking simulation now. Trying to buy a foul. Firmino. Jota. Salah can't reach it. Mendy can. Robertson into Firmino. He's ambitious. Strap yourselves in for the next 12 minutes because this is going to be how it's going to be for the rest of the game. Naby Keita. It's come out to Jota. Good control. Firmino! Turned away by David Alaba. There's a flag up for offside. It's going to be a free kick to Real Madrid rather than a corner. It was tight. See Marnik just offside. So Jurgen Klopp has repeatedly tried to disarm any talk of his team rewriting history, winning everything in their world, trying to laugh it off, shrug his shoulders. What he won't stand for is the whole season being judged on these next ten minutes. But the, the Champions League would certainly be the crowning glory. And the consolation prizes won't seem quite the same without this trophy. This extraordinary season is coming to its climax, and Real Madrid are threatening to wrest the European Cup out of Liverpool's hands again. Alexander Arnold into Mane. Now Salah. He's found Firmino. Salah! It's come for Jota, it's run away from him. Corner kick. Oh, it's another save from Courtois. Deflection also takes the sting out of it. But the pressure is mounting. The Real Madrid defence is dropping. A season of nearly ten months comes down to ten minutes. Alexander-Arnold all in towards Salah. I think that's what he was trying to do. Real Madrid have defended it. It is a Liverpool throw, no it's not. I think he's given a free kick, the referee. No, he's given a Liverpool free kick. No, he's given a Liverpool throw. <laughs> well, they've taken that about ten seconds ago. James Milner, one of the substitutes, is absolutely berating the referee's assistant. I can understand why. Took the momentum away, didn't it? Sadio Mane. Firmino. Pull back, Keita! Horrid. He knows it, he won't need telling. Getting round the back of this Real Madrid defence. 
just get easier and easier. Cater, straight strike, wasn't it? Oh, desperately trying hard not to shoot with his left foot. Trying the outside of the boot with his stronger right foot. But Liverpool continue to create openings. One goal has been enough the last two years. Kai Havertz, Kingsley Como. There's Vinicius Jr. to be added to that list. Looking at the options for Real Madrid, I think Camavinga's on obvious choice to bring on, to bring a bit of steel into the midfield. Searching ball from Fabinho, wonderful control from Mohamed Salah. What a save, what a save by Thibaut Courtois. He's been congratulated as if he scored a goal. He has, in a way, because he saved one. Well, that's a match-winning save. That's the best of a lot from Courtois. You have a little moment when it hits you on the arm. You're not in control, you're not sure, you react. You get something on it and you pray and hope it goes wide. His prayers have been answered. Alexander-Arnold. Headed away by Valverde. Naby Keita. Firmino. Salah. Canate. Salah. Stopped though by Alaba. Vinicius can get away. Three against three. Here's Tony Kroos. He's got Benzema clear. Karim Benzema notched into Vinicius. Overhead. Allison to the rescue. Liverpool will come again. Alexander Arnold, look where he is. Firmino in towards Salah. Carvajal got in front of him. Seven minutes. That was a fantastic save from Courtois. Just watch him stand, wait, get ready, be small movements, ready for the set, ready for the strike. And just that little bit of fortune you need as a goalkeeper. Like that deflection goes wide of the post. It will be of no consolation to Liverpool at all if the man of the match here is the Real Madrid goalkeeper. They've got to find a way past him. Diogo Jota. Valverde has stolen it back. Firmino has stolen it back, but there's Modric looking to get... Vinicius on his way. Edward Camavinga is imminent. Here comes the uh, teenage French midfield player, he's taken the eye every time he's played the last three months or so. It's like Fede Valverde's night is up. Eduardo Camavinga, who actually scored in this stadium on his full international debut. Played an hour and more of both the quarter-finals and both the semi-finals. He's going to come on. And he's brought into the side, Valverde for goal. More of an industrial role, industrious role out there. It's actually ended up with the assist for the potential winner. Now yeah, they may not need Rodrigo tonight. This, this man does bring an athleticism, and a wonderful ability on the ball to keep the ball as well when they get the opportunity. Rodrigo is actually stripped off and ready. Kroos, Vinicius, Benzema, Modric won't reach that, Robertson will, Jota, oh he took a chance there, Carvajal but it was a chance that came off for him, Kroos to Modric, Carvajal still way forward, here he is, Camavinga. Gross. With Camavinga coming on, 
Casemiro has got the license to drop back into that back line even more to make a back five. Benzema on towards Vinicius, no flag. It's Vinicius Junior, it's Karim Benzema, halted though by Trent Alexander Arnold. Helped on by Jota. Mane. Three in support of Sadio Mane. Cut out by Casemiro for the umpteenth time tonight. Modric trying to get out. Calm play from Real Madrid. Vinicius bends his run. Flag is up. Well, these opportunities now are coming more at Liverpool's end with the breakaways, with the chances, the freedom. Mane. Challenged by Camavinga, concedes another Liverpool corner. Three more minutes. It has been such a dramatic Champions League season. Is there another twist in this tale? Alexander Arnold. And it's held by Thibaut Courtois. He's done nothing wrong tonight. Well, that's as big as the save. Just coming all that way, taking the pressure off, taking the collision. He won't rest easy. I, I did mention his only Champions League appearance in a final prior to tonight, a little earlier, 2014. Atletico led into the 93rd minute when Sergio Ramos equalised against him. Danny Sabayas will come on before Rodrigo. Into midfield. of this now is just to try to see and run the clock down substitution's been delayed can Liverpool create one more chance here comes Ceballos this look at Modric is coming off what a player he is by the way He'll be 37 in September, still no sign of him slowing down. The feeling is that he will agree a new one-year contract and stay on with Real Madrid. On in this place comes Danny Ceballos. Comes on with legs, he will run and run and run for these last few moments in the game. There's no need to create, there's a need to defend. Firmino. And a more up than out by Cam, uh, by uh, Cam, by um, <laughs> I was saying, Willi Tower, then Camavinga. Here's Robertson, Mane, Keita, stabbed away by Camavinga. Uh, how much added time? Five minutes. Keita into Jota, couldn't help it on. To Firmino, Robertson was in there too. And this is can't take it any stride. Benzema, Kroos, Vinicius, cheeky. Benzema has lifted it, and suddenly Ceballos is in here and has support. Danny Ceballos. And Liverpool have done just enough, but it is a Real Madrid corner. I barely had a touch. Had the opportunity to nick it. To get that second goal, to get that cushion, to win it. For Real Madrid. With a bit of cheerleading from Tony Kroos. They're very close. Four more added minutes.
Benzema back to Casemiro. Kroos, Ceballos, Benzema. Trying to set up Camavinga. Another Real Madrid change. And the man whose goal separates the two teams is going to get a special ovation because Vinicius is going to come off here. He's being encouraged to get a move on, but those Real Madrid fans applauding their bright young thing. They're not taking Kylian Mbappe home with them from Paris, but they may well be taking the European Cup, and they may feel the man who plays on the left at the moment is quite good enough. And he's got that X-factor, Vinicius. He's had that tonight. Only need one chance, one shot on target. Van Dijk's up there. Might just come for Firmino. Van Dijk again. Alexander-Arnold, driven in towards Mane, good defending again by Carvajal. Diogo Jota. Found a way to Mane. Sadio Mane. Real Madrid have somehow defended it again. Somehow they keep finding a way. Kroos. Fouled by Keita. A relieving free kick for Real Madrid. It's Real Madrid team now encouraging each other. Fist pumps, claps around the stadium. It did strike the arm, didn't it? No, maybe not. Maybe the chest of Militao. He should really be preparing for his match tomorrow, Rafa Nadal, but he's going nowhere. Big Real Madrid fan. They've seen it all before, Modric, Benzema, but that doesn't mean they don't want to see it again. The club captain, Marcelo. It's a rather aimless one, that from Alisson. Looks like Marcelo will be moving on after 15 years at Real Madrid. And he might just get his hands on the giant trophy for one last time tonight. Alisson's got to take chances. Liverpool have got to get the ball forward. Cater. Fabinho. One last attack for Liverpool. Fabinho's cross and Courtois' hands. All night, Courtois' hands have foiled Liverpool. And those hands are going to be on a winner's medal in a moment or two. Well, a fitting moment to end the game now. It's been a goalkeeping masterclass from Courtois. Oh, it looks, looks like it's enough. Keita. Clearly fouled by Kroos. There will be a free kick. We're playing added time to the added time. It's Real Madrid again. Again and again. 14 times champions. Twice as many times as anyone else. 14 times winners of the competition that everyone else most wants to win. It is an obsession. The European Cup is going home. Real Madrid's historic hold on it continues. They won it for the first time here in Paris 66 years ago. They've won it in six different decades now. But tonight they are very much the modern masters of Europe. Five 
five-time Champions League winners in the last nine seasons. Nobody else has won it more than once in that time. Real Madrid, the untouchables. Liverpool have had a wonderful season. It won't seem like it right now. A week ago, they were still playing for four major trophies. In seven days, they have seen the two most prized pieces of silverware slip through their hands. And Carlo Ancelotti becomes the most successful coach in the history of this competition. The don of the Champions League. Two triumphs as a player, and now four more as a manager of players. Two titles with Real Madrid, eight years apart. A man who just knows how to win, and win with grace and style. Nobody knows quite how Real Madrid even got here. They dodged so many bullets in the knockout rounds, picked themselves up off the canvas time and time again. Lucky? No, you make your own luck. It's not easy living up to your history when you're Real Madrid, and they've not made it easy on themselves, but 